Good evening, folks, and welcome to another episode of Wayne's World of Science and Technology. And I promise to you, I will learn how to talk sometime in the next 10 years. Of course, it's been 65 years, and I'm still not good at it, but hey. Anyway, today is a science video, so I'm putting on my explorer hat. <laughs> Why not? Uh, well, that's what happens when you watch too many Bugs Bunny cartoons when you're a kid. You get a horrible, horrible urge to wear funny hats. Um, the reason I'm cutting this video is because I wanted to invite everybody to ask me questions. I'm not the world's greatest expert. Not even close to it. What I am is bloody stubborn. If I've got something that interests me, I will spend hours and hours digging into it to find out exactly what's going on. And I'm actually reasonably good at it, at least I think so. So, I am publishing on the web a list of scientific research papers that I have collected. This is not a complete list. Uh, quite frankly, <laughs> my collection just keeps growing and growing and growing. But um, I'm putting it up there to invite everybody to take a look. Do you see any papers there that you would like me to talk about, to address? I haven't read all of them in detail. I'll quite frankly admit that. I have read the abstracts of all of them, and the ones I was specifically interested in, I have read in detail. But even the ones I didn't read in detail, I pulled down because I think that, well, they might have really important applications, and I think they need to be discussed. So, I'm inviting everybody out there. Come, take a look at my list of research papers that I've collected. Tell me what you'd like me to talk about. Um, a lot of them I cannot directly share. I'm sorry about that, folks, but if a scientist shared, me a, shared a paper with me confidentially, uh, when I say confidentially, I mean like, you know, they published it through a closed source journal and I approached them and said, hey, could I please have a copy? And they gave me a copy. I don't share it around. It just wouldn't be polite. But I am willing to talk about them and to um, show the parts that uh, the, um, uh, and show the parts that the uh, journals wouldn't mind. In other words, I'm not going to um, mess anyone over with this. But I am going to do my darndest to try and show you as much as I can about science and technology because it's just so neat and well hey I'm excited about it what can I say uh, one of the things I'm actually working on right now is canine cognition and come here Loki no you're sleeping okay well Loki my new puppy has been helping me he um, is quite an intelligent little fellow from what I can tell and at some point, assuming I can get the money together, we're going to get him a pile of buttons. And when I say I can get the money together, um, yeah, well, when you live on disability, money isn't one of those things that uh, is on trees, if you know what I mean. So that's one of the things I want to uh, try and work on with him. I've already been working with him a lot. And for a three-month-old puppy, he actually understands an amazing number of English words. And um, he's getting really good at listening to daddy. So I, you know, the question to me is, seeing uh, Bunny the uh, talking, oops, sorry folks, I moved my foot again. Seeing Bunny the talking dog on the internet is exactly how smart are our companion animals? Really, just think about it. How smart are they? If a dog can learn to use buttons to communicate, even in a limited fashion, that makes that dog far smarter than we've been thinking for, well, just about the entire time that dogs have been part of our lives. 15,000 years. Think about it. So I'm really interested. How far can we push this? How much can we learn from our companions? Because how they learn how to speak is going to indicate a lot to us about how children learn how to speak. And I'm actually reading puppy manuals and I'm reading child rearing manuals trying to pick up tricks and tips. Because, well, hey, the little guy seems to really love learning. Well, okay, let's face it, he loves treats. <laughs> We know hound dogs. Hound dogs and treats. They go together like, uh, well, peanut butter and jam. Anyway, so, yeah, I'm publishing the list. It's linked in the description of this video. If you have any questions about any one of those papers, yell at me. 
I'm perfectly willing to take a shot at trying to explain it. If I don't understand it, well, I'm just stubborn enough that I will contact the scientist who wrote it or somebody else in the field who uh, I know if I know somebody else in the field and say, hey, can you tell me what this means? Because if I don't know, I'm shameless about asking questions, and you should be too. Anyway, have fun, folks, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.